Hi everyone, this is Erica. Today I want to share with you an art therapy activity that will help you transform your emotions, specifically from fear to courage. So I've been thinking a lot about how patterns have been playing out in my life over and over and over again, and how they just keep showing up. I realize that I have a deep rooted fear of change, and I think we all do because when we're used to living a certain way or when we're used to believing something a certain way for so many years of our life, it is hard to break free of that because it almost becomes normal to us. An old story that I keep telling myself is that I can't communicate. And I've seen this play out in so many of my relationships in my professional life, in my friendships, in my romantic relationships, where I want to say something where I want to speak my truth, but I'm scared to. So instead I swallow it down and I pretend that everything is okay when really it's not. Maybe it's the state of the world of this year that made me realize that we have to change. We have to grow and it's okay because we've all adapted to this change already. So I realized that I can't keep living my life this way. I can't keep telling myself that I can't communicate because I can. I think we have to believe that we can change our life. We can rewrite our story and we can be courageous and take the next step forward. And so this art therapy activity is gonna give you permission to step into that change and transformation and ultimately give you freedom to rewrite your story and set you free from what's holding you back. So what you're going to need is two pieces of paper and some drawing materials. So it could be some pencil crayons, felt markers, watercolor paints, and a glue stick. If you have some stickers or anything like that, you can also add it to the pile. Before you begin, create a space in your home. Let this be your sacred place of creating art. Take a few deep breaths in and out. Tune inwards. Place your palms on the paper and set an intention. Give the paper gratitude for holding space for you today. Start by drawing a caterpillar on your piece of paper. Write your old story across the body. This is something you want to let go of and transform. Now, draw a cocoon over the caterpillar. Start coloring over it layer by layer. Start building the cocoon. Use any colors that call to you. Now, we're going through the metamorphosis. Take your scissors and start to cut the chrysalis into pieces. You're rebuilding your story into a butterfly. Start to collage the pieces of the chrysalis onto the wings of the butterfly. Play around with the shapes until it feels right to you. This is your opportunity to rewrite your story and set yourself free. Keep adding to the butterfly. Choose colors that feel transformative to you. Add and embellish the butterfly in any way that you like. Create an image of courage and freedom. So this is what I ended up creating and my favorite part about this whole process was when I wrote the statement into the caterpillar of my old story of I can't communicate and then I drew the cocoon over it and as I drew the cocoon over it and I started coloring over the caterpillar it just made me go into my darkness but in a really soft and gentle way. I felt like I was almost cradling that old story and finally giving it the permission to set itself free and to watch it transform into a butterfly. I think art is one of the most powerful ways that we can transform our emotions because we can create color, we can create beauty, and we can create line and shape, and we can actually see how it can transform through our eyes. I love using the metaphor from a cocoon to a butterfly. It just makes me realize that it is in our nature to change. It is natural for us to do so, and we don't have to be so scared. So I really hope that you enjoyed this exercise. If you do decide to try it, please 
share with me. I would love to see your transformation and how it affected you. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, subscribe to my channel. I will be back every week with more art therapy activities for you to help you on your healing journey. In the meantime, I'm sending you guys all love and I'll see you next week.